the total number of registered COVID-19 deaths as of April 22, 2020 are 1,78,845. I repeat, 1,78,845. I, out of my research, strongly believe that the virus under discussion, coronavirus, has not originated from the Wuhan, Honan seafood market. I vehemently believe the virus would have originated from either Wuhan Institute of Virology or Wuhan Center for Disease Prevention and Control. I robustly believe, I robustly believe that the virus would have been an accidental leak. I firmly believe that there is no intermediate source between the bat or between the virus to the human, entering into the human, there is no intermediate source. I categorically believe that the patient zero is not from the market under the discussion. I steadfastly believe all the above set points to 96.2% accuracy. I repeat, 96.2% accuracy. Why I said 96.2%? You will understand on the go. Now let me elucidate everything with the help of facts, figures and evidence is the Wuhan Institute of Virology which is 30 kilometers from the Hunan seafood market. My first belief is the virus would have either originated from the Wuhan Institute of Virology or Wuhan Center for Disease Prevention and Control. Let's talk about the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Wuhan Institute of Virology is the nation's only biosafety level 4 laboratory, which means the dangerous experiments on the dangerous viruses are being done there. In, for example, Ebola, for example, coronavirus. Yes. The research team is headed by Dr. Shi Zingling, who is, who is a well known virologist. In fact, she's called as the Bat Woman. They have got almost 300 different connection of the coronavirus species over there the different types of bats which are producing the coronavirus they've collected they believed in their earlier experiments they believe that there is something which is thousand miles away from the Wuhan Institute of Virology there is the Yunnan cave from that particular cave the virus that's the main source for the coronavirus so they picked up all those bats from there and they have kept in there laboratory and the researchers are continuously going on well coming to one more laboratory which is well known for cases where animals escaping from the laboratory bats escaping from the laboratory and the blood stains of the bats on the scientists now coming to the Wuhan Center for Disease Prevention and Control this is just 600 meters away from the Wuhan seafood market where people are telling the virus has originated from the market it is just 600 meters which is just more than half a kilometer at least the Wuhan Institute of Virology is 30 kilometers from the seafood market the market under discussion if you do the Google Maps and all it shows 23-24 but uh, after speaking to the people in the Wuhan in the city of Wuhan I confirm it is exactly 30 kilometers now coming to the CDC in this is the place, the Wuhan CDC, which is Center for Disease Prevention and Control. This is the place where the viruses has been tested in, on the animals. They have got different collection of the animals. So they test viruses on these animals here. Now, coming to my one more point, I said I robustly believe. I robustly believe that this would have been an accidental leak. The virus would have accidentally leaked from these laboratories. You might confront me. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Look into this. You can, you can very clearly see here the SARS virus has escaped twice. This is in the year 2004. It escaped twice from the laboratory. Registered in World Health Organization, 2004. There could be a lot of cases unregistered. Even the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which is a biosafety level 4 laboratory, has got two warnings in the year 2018 for not practicing stringently. I categorically said the patient zero is not from the Hunan, Hunan seafood market, not from that market. Patient zero is the one on whom the virus first attacked. 
the first patient. He is basically called as patient zero. I strongly believe the patient zero is either from the Wuhan Institute of Virology or Wuhan Center for Disease Prevention and Control. First, let me give why. First, let me give why the numbers. Okay, why it is not from the seafood market? I am going to give you the numbers which are given by the Chinese authorities, and the research is is actually funded by the Chinese. Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences. There are two reports, please. On January 24th, there is one report, and January 30th, there is one more report. January 24th, out of 41 people tested out of the coronavirus positive who are positive patients, on them, out of the research, 14 people said there has never been a history of traveling to the uh, Wuhan Honan seafood market. The market under the discussion, they never been to that place. 14 out of 41 people have not visited. It's a big number. Second, that is on January 30. 99 patients of the Wunan Jin Yenthin Hospital. This is also funded by the respective authorities. Out of the 99 patients, 50 patients doesn't belong to, doesn't have a history of traveling to the Hunan seafood market, the market in a discussion. And surprisingly, they only said that, this is available in media, they only said that these 50 people doesn't belong to this category, they have not visited to that uh, Hunan seafood market, but they have not disclosed their origin, the origin of 50 people. This is the investigation. This is the reports given by the Chinese authorities themselves. From this, it's very clear that we can't 100% say that the, the first patient is either from the first patient is from that location. That is from the Unan seafood. Patient zero is from the Unan seafood market. Now, when I said it could be, it could be either from the uh, Wuhan Institute of Virology or Wuhan Center for Disease Prevention Control because the first doctor who passed away is also from the Wuhan Center for Disease Prevention Control. Yes. If we take the whole employee, the staff details of both the staff from, you know, at least six months before or at least from the June 2019, if someone is missing, and that someone would be the patient zero, the first patient. And I fiercely said, and I fiercely believe that there is no intermediate source required. There's no intermediate source required from the bats to the human who got the virus. People believe that there is a mammal inside that could be the snake or something, but nothing is required. Look at these numbers. You can see here 2015 this is and Dr. Shi Zhengli's name, that's her own paper. She and her team submitted in the year 2015 after thorough research that without the intermediate source, the virus, uh, SARS-like viruses, which is coronavirus, can jump into the humans directly without an intermediate source. This is her own paper of 2015, please. And she and her team warned that a medicine should be ready. We should be ready for the human epidemic, a big one. In fact, this is the bat under discussion. This is called as horseshoe bat. They've got a lot of them, 300 species of different things of the horseshoe. Bats were kept in the laboratory of the Wuhan Institute of Virology and the experiments were going on. And 2017, she said, yes, we have proved with the help of Hela that the, it can infect directly to the humans. So coronavirus is all set in the laboratory. Last but by no means least, Dr. Shi Zhangli herself told that the virus, the coronavirus which is in the patients is matching with the virus in her laboratory to 96.2%. 96.2%. Hence, the only way to confirm it is 100% or not. The only way to confirm the patient zero is either from the Wuhan Institute of Virology or the Wuhan Center of Disease Prevention and Control. The only way to confirm that the 100%, the only way to confirm that accident leak has happened or not is to have a thorough investigation 
into these two bodies from the external source. Yes, there must be an international pressure. All the countries in the world must unite and order for that investigation into these two laboratories. Rest is over to your wisdom. Nandri Vanakkam.